have these outstanding representatives from a broad range of industry on this important uh, topic. And yeah, I'll try to keep it tight so we can get to our votes, which are uh, very important. Uh, before serving in Congress, I'm a freshman member. I was mayor of Phoenix, Arizona, one of the fastest growing cities in America kind of like San Antonio. Uh, and so the dynamic in a lot of communities where the urban center wants more money for transit and the suburban communities want more money for roads and highways, that kind of gets, that kind of gets turned on its head in a city like Phoenix, where as a mayor, you got to be supportive of all of it because we're over uh, 500 square miles, but a growing center city. So we, did, we passed a major infrastructure investment plan that did have tripling the amount of money for our light rail system, uh, increasing s support for our bus and bus rapid transit system, bikeability, walkability, and more money for roads on the more suburban s parts of our community. And Mayor, I'm sure it's very similar to what's going on in San Antonio, also one of the fastest growing. So I wanna get your thoughts, you know, as we make important decisions in this committee, about a transportation infrastructure investment plan for America, for a city like yours, um, how, thinking about beyond roads and bridges, what kind of investments are you looking for? Yeah, well, I certainly appreciate your perspective, uh, Congressman, and absolutely right. I think there's urban, uh, rural issues at play here, but what we've found, and there's a great study by the National League of Cities that uh, shows that when we have a proper balance, there, the results uh, create uh, great synergies for everybody, uh, including you know, supply chains from the economic development side to more quality of life for those who seek to live inside or outside of the city. We're seeking uh, a balanced approach to multiple modes of transportation and sustainable sources of funding that recognize the local leveraging that's taking place already. Uh, we applaud uh, the, the, the uh, uh, work of uh, our Congress on on many things, including fully funding uh, transit projects in years past. We'd like to see a return to that. Uh, we're also working on partnerships with regard to new technologies and how we regulate those technologies and uh, autonomous vehicles comes up and making sure that we have uh, respect of local authorities when it comes to um, you know, regulating the design and maintenance of traffic infrastructure and, and, inf and traffic management systems and, and so forth. You have a partner in local governments because we represent the same constituents who have the same concerns and who rely from an equity standpoint on an efficient transportation system. I appreciate you saying that uh, you haven't had as good of a partner as cities deserve in the federal government over the last few decades where the support for projects like what we described have been eroding. Both of our cities have grown so fast, but at a period of time when federal support has been going in the opposite direction, which has forced cities like ours more and more to kind of go it alone. Uh, Phoenix first passed our transit election in the early 2000s. We came to the table with 50% uh, support for the, for the project. When I was mayor just a few years ago, we went to the voters to do that significant infrastructure investment. We calculated that we'd only get a 30% match from the federal government, 70 cent from the uh, local government. We're not gonna keep up with infrastructure in America if the federal government doesn't up its game, if you will, and be a much better partner to local government. So I really appreciate your uh, your perspective. Yeah, and I, and I would just add, we're working on our first ever uh, rapid transit system. Uh, you had great city management there in Phoenix to bring that online, we, we do too here in San Antonio, but we're working on our first ever rapid transit system in San Antonio. I can tell you that my community will pass it. We're gonna bring it to the ballot in 2020 if we can show that we have funding available long-term to make it happen. That's and that's only gonna be, ha that can only happen if we have a partner in the federal government. That's great. And one final question, uh, has to, I don't know if we've had a chance to talk about public-private partnerships. For a lot of mayors, sometimes the mirage of public-private uh, uh, partnerships versus the reality. So maybe Mr. Stanley, you may be the best one on the panel to talk a little bit about, uh, in addition to the, the, the funding that cities deserve from this federal government when it comes to major infrastructure and transportation projects, um, looking at also opportunities for public-private partnerships, because as a practical matter, it's the only way we're gonna get a bipartisan bill, and I think we need to get a bipartisan bill to make this happen. Um, thank you, sir. So I think the issue of public partner public-private partnerships is much like the other issues that have been discussed today. It should just be one of the tools in the toolbox. Um, I think the outstanding and the long-going commitment of the federal government to the highway program and transportation programs is still the main key. But still having the public-private partnerships as a tool to allow some private investment where, it's, where it makes sense. And so some of the issues you have with the public-private partnership 
are in some of the transportation modes in transit and things like that that are not financially sustainable, you're not gonna get public-private partnerships to take on those projects. So you still have to have that federal investment, but there are some things, toll roads, toll bridges, where the um, public-private partnerships make sense, and so allowing that to be a tool in the toolkit is important. Thank you very much. Uh, Madam thank, Chair, I'm gonna ask for uh, consent to enter into the record a letter from my friend, the mayor of Tempe, Arizona, which is now in my district uh, as well, uh, lamenting the lack of a strong federal partner in public transportation, uh, and we need more of it, so I would like to enter into the record. So ordered. 